Hello to this new tutorial. Today I finally start my series on the Flux tools which were recently released. In this video I will start with the inpainting and outpainting feature and how you use the Flux fill model. You don't need any custom nodes, you need a quite recent Comfy UI and you need to install the Flux One fill model. You also need a good GPU which can handle Flux. Be sure to check this in advance before you dive into this tutorial. The workflow is quite straightforward. We will use differential diffusion, but it will also work without differential diffusion. Let's start from scratch and build this workflow. I will build a simple close exchange example. We start by creating a dual clip loader. Double click on the background. Dual clip loader. We use the clip L safe tensors for the first clip and we use the T5 XXL FP16 for the second one. And for sure we need to switch to flux. Then we need our two clip text and code. Simply pull out the port and select clip text and code then use the flux guidance and set it to a quite high number let's do 30 if this number is not big enough the influence of your prompt is not high and the results can be not dominant enough if flux is not doing what you tell flux to do you might want to increase this number and that might help in some cases then we need the inpaint model conditioning node Connect your negative prompt here as well. Then we need to load the VAE. Simple pull out the VAE port. Select your AAE model. The installation process of Flux and the general Flux pipeline is explained in another video. I will link it in the description below if you haven't already installed everything needed for Flux. Let's use the differential diffusion node. We can now load the diffusion model. I like to choose the fill def model here with a default weight type let's load our image load image node simple simply pull out the pixels port from the inpaint model conditioning node i have this lovely girl here standing in a street scene we will later use this to exchange her clothes then we need a case sampler we are using the standard case sampler here, connect the negative and connect the latent image. And now we can connect the differential diffusion. And now we need to decode our VAE and output our image with the safe image node. Uh, don't forget to connect the VAE port to your model. And then we have the main functionality for our inpainting. For flux, you should use a CFG of one because one means the negative prompt gets ignored. Flux is not using the negative prompt out of the box. You can use CFG of one because it isn't used anyways. I like to put the seat to increment. We don't need the noise mask but we need a mask. So let's connect the load image node mask port to the mask port of the inpainting model conditioning. And now let's draw a mask by doing a right click on the image and select open in mask editor. And now we can draw our mask. If you turn your mouse wheel, you can increase or decrease the size of your brush. And then let's Select the shirt so that we can afterwards replace it. So save to note. And now 
let's adjust the prompt. Let's do girl with white shirt with colorful print on it. And let's give it a try. And here we have our image. Uh, let's do another one with another seat. I really like the results. Oh, this is nice as well. So let's move over to the outpainting feature. This is used for making the background bigger, for example. So for this, I will create another node. It's called pad image for outpainting. And we connect our image to the image input port. And we place the pixels port with the pixels noodle and the mask with the mask noodle. And now we have to set the padding to the amount we want to resize the background. So let's do 200 here. around our image, we get 200 pixels of more background. The feathering is the gradient which gets created between the mask and the image. So it's a, it's a smooth transition between mask area and the unmasked area. So this should be it. The mask of the image should be uh, ignored now. And so we are not changing the clothes. This is the result. I realized I forgot to change the prompt, but it worked anyways. We can try with a prompt like street scene, for example. Let's give it another go. So we have a slightly different result here. If you want to have a look at the mask, which is used, you can simply pull the mask port and search for mask to image. And then connect a preview image node. And then you can generate again and you see how your mask looks. And this might help you if you want to increase the background to a specific direction, or you only want to um, uh, resize into one side or whatever you wish. Okay, so this workflow should help you with the adding of details into your images, changing clothes, exchanging different things, whatever you wish. And it can also help you with the resizing of your background. Uh, in the next video, I will go into the Redux feature of the Flux tools. And I hope to see you there again. Comment below if you liked the video. I will upload this workflow to my Patreon. You can access it with the base membership. And I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.